Copy the five. Exercise North Arc. Copy it, tornado. Six Davis five. Exercise North Arc. Copy a tornado. It's early on a Saturday morning at Liberty High School, and this is an actor getting ready to play his part in a very big production. First of all, let me thank all of you for coming out this morning. I uh, hate to say this, but you guys are a rough-looking bunch this morning. I usually, don't, I usually don't start off the morning by telling a group of people they are rough-looking. So that's really encouragement, encouraging words, right? But uh, anyway, I just want to thank all of you for participating. Meanwhile, about 30 miles away at Hanover School, the stage is being set. School is out, but there's an activity in the gym which has brought dozens of teenagers and adults to the school on a warm June morning. Suddenly, as the heat of the day begins to build... Well, Hanover Fire, there's been a tornado that has hit at the Hanover High School, 17050 South Payton Highway. Again, Hanover Fire, tornado. Hanover High School, there's damage to the north end and casualties. Portions of Hanover School are badly damaged. The roof over the gymnasium has collapsed. Many injured victims have crawled away from the worst damage area and are lining the hallways when the first help arrives. Others are still trapped in the concrete rubble. Much more help is on the way, but this is a big county. Top of that, the door didn't activate uh, ESD personnel, if you would. I need command posts, the PIO, TDUs, fire rehab, and uh, sounds like it's a wide area that is covered, so let's go ahead and send search and rescue out. One of the things that, that I've recognized quickly is how long it really takes to get a response. I mean, we have agencies coming from all over the community, and uh, a lot of times people don't realize how long just the drive time is from the time they're dispatched, and they have to get here safely. Then once they're here, they have to be assigned a mission, and, and that's what we're seeing really come together now. Agencies responding stretch from the Tri Lakes on the north to South Highway 115. With help coming from Fort Carson and Peterson Air Force Base, Manitou and Colorado Springs working side by side with Falcon, Rama, Calhan and Rush. And that's just a partial listing. In all, there were 29 agencies participating. It's taken 18 months of planning to do this exercise. And uh, there's, there's, for instance, the coordination of 120 victims. Um, also, we have probably s over 700 participants when you include the victims, the responders, the monitors, uh, safety officers, everybody involved. And, and that's a tremendous effort. And we've gone through tabletop exercises to build up for this. And this is just a real test on the responders, the readiness, but also our, our IT systems like the radio system and so forth. Finally, the first victims are moved from the hallways to a safe triage area where the initial first aid efforts that began in the hallways is now expanded. And transportation of the injured to local hospitals begins. Memorial, Memorial North, Penrose, and St. Francis Medical Centers are all participating. And afterward... We all come back into one room and basically have an after action debrief. We sit down, we talk about what worked, what didn't work, what things we need to improve, and how we overcome some of those mistakes or some of those errors or some of those things that didn't go the way we would like them to go in the event of an actual disaster. So it's basically a matter of taking all the information of everyone who participated and or observed, put all that information together and put it into one report so that we can share it with all the agencies that were involved so that we understand where we need to improve and how we're going to do that. Victims trapped in debris under the collapsed gymnasium are among the last to be rescued. Here the Colorado Springs Fire Department trench building collapse team drills through the concrete rubble and works with Fort Carson fire to stabilize what's left of the gymnasium wall. The equipment and the training are both highly specialized. Just a short distance away the Memorial Star helicopter lands to pick up victims. 
I think it's I think it's important that um, anyone who's looking at this information or looking at the exercise as a whole realizes um, how significant this is and how important it is for us to work with other agencies. Um, and anytime we go into a scene and we actually see someone that we recognize, we see a familiar face, there's more comfort and I think we expedite the process and we're more efficient that way instead of trying to overcome the hurdle of dealing with a perfect stranger. On this June day in Hanover, Everyone is thankful that this is a test. This is only a test. He's, he's dead. But it, it's something we have to go through, and it's, there's nothing better than reality-based training, and that's what you're seeing here.